Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to be reading out your assumptions of me. So I asked on Instagram what you guys assumed about me and I got quite a few responses. Quite a few of them were the same but just worded differently so I'm going to try not to be too repetitive. So firstly thank you for those who replied and sent your assumptions on me. Some of them were absolutely hilarious. Some of them were a bit, um, well put it this way, I would not be able to read them out on YouTube. <laughs> So I will not be reading out some of them. So if you want to see whether your assumptions on me are right, then please keep watching. The first assumption said, I've got them here on my phone, so I'm going to read them out. I assume that you are some kind of superwoman in a mum's body. I can't believe the amount of patience you have. <laughs> I'm definitely not a superwoman. I am not a superhero. I do have a mum bod though. <laughs> I do have patience, but it all depends on how much sleep I've had the night before. I assume you're a superhuman. <laughs> I am not a superhuman, a witch or anything like that. I am just a human. So the next one is, I assume that you would be easy to get along with. Now I do think that I am very easy going and I do think that I am easy to get along with. I'm quite a chilled out person. I expect nothing from anyone and yeah, I do generally think that I am easy to get along with. I'm quite easy to speak to, quite approachable. I like to think that anyway. <laughs> Next one is that you often put yourself last on your priorities list and that is 100% true. I have five other people that I put before myself because that's what you do as a mum. You put everybody else before you which is fine. I do have very little time for me but I choose that because I, I want to give my all to the boys and to Dan so that's why I say five and not four because obviously I put Dan before myself as well because I like to keep him happy too so I had quite a few of these actually um that you live comfortably with no money struggles um and the other ones you are financially comfortable now I wouldn't say we're financially comfortable we live within our means we don't live a lavish lifestyle we don't go out and buy loads of clothes or get loads of takeaways or um just we don't we don't really buy a lot for ourselves we spend all of our money on the house the cars and the boys we kind of again put ourselves last on the priority list okay. because we don't ever really need stuff me and dan put ourselves last on the priority list which is fine. So I would say we're comfortable in the fact that we don't overspend and we don't spend stuff on silly things that we don't need or big brand names because we're not like that. That doesn't make us happy, you know, lots of material things that doesn't make us happy. We like to make sure the boys are happy and they've got what they need, i.e. clothes or shoes or toys, puzzles, whatever they need, things for school. Oh, hello, we That's okay, I can help you darling, I could try. And yeah, we don't live a lavish lifestyle. At the moment, we are spending most of our money, obviously on the boys and doing, <laughs> and doing up our home. Yeah, we want our yeah. home to be comfortable and homely for the boys. So we're currently trying to do up their bedrooms and things like that. And we, have two, <laughs> we have two cars between us. So obviously a lot of our money goes on the house, food, cars, and boys. So I would say that we are quite comfortable, but only because we don't overspend on things that we don't need. I think if you live within your means, then you can make your money go a long way. You assume that I am very calm natured. I am a very calm person. I am very sort of chilled out. Again, as I said earlier, it does depend on how much sleep I've had. I can get a little bit stressy if I'm very tired or if I feel like I've got a lot to do in my mind. I can be a little bit stressy, but I am 99% calm natured I would say. My dad is the most chilled out person you will ever meet. He is so chilled out and laid back that he is horizontal so I feel like I get that from him and I just think in general we are quite a chilled out family. Next is you are a happy smiley person and a very patient mum. I am 99% of the time happy smiley and patient but again as I said earlier it depends on how much sleep I've had. If you're a brilliant mum and you don't give yourself enough credit for how amazing you are well thank you very much and I do try and give my all to the boys and I do feel that the one thing that I was meant to do in life was to be a mum. 
So I do feel very thankful and I don't give myself enough credit. I must admit, I don't praise myself a lot on if I've done a good job with the boys or if I've had a good day. I don't give myself a pat on the back because that's just what I've chosen to do in life. Like, I don't feel like I should praise myself. I don't know, that doesn't really make sense, does it? No, I, do, I don't give myself enough credit, I must admit. This is hard, but the thing is, I see this as my normal life, so I don't see it as some kind of incredible thing or amazing thing. I know some of you out there are like, how on earth do you do it but having four boys so close together in age is my normal life so i don't see it as a a big thing does that make sense <laughs> i hope that makes sense uh, again you have the patience of a saint i do at times but there are times where i don't uh, you're a kind loving mother possibly a little shy or unsure of yourself absolutely stunning and i'm in awe thank you very much I don't feel like that last bit is true. I am very shy, I would say, and I think some of you who meet me would also say the same. I'm so comfortable with people that I know, and I feel like they get the better side of me, but when I meet new people, or even people that I've met before, but not too many times, I still am very shy. Sometimes I worry it comes across as being unapproachable. So yeah, I would say that I am shy. Um, yeah, even if you've met me a few times, I think it does take a lot to bring me out of my shell. That's why the friends that I've had that I went to school and college with, I believe get the best of me because I've known them for so many years. <laughs> that you never raise your voice or you get stressed. I do raise my voice and I do get stressed. Don't forget what I show you on Instagram stories and on YouTube is almost like the better side because I just don't think it's fair for me to put that side on to YouTube for everybody to see. So I do raise my voice at the boys, especially if they're not listening. The thing is there's so many of them and I have to have rules in place. And if they don't listen, I do have to raise my voice a little bit to make them listen and to make them understand that they need to listen. So yes, I do raise my voice and I don't think it's a bad thing. I think every single mum raises their voice at one point during the day. But I think it's good because you need to have a bit of discipline, as I said, especially with so many of them. They would just rule the roost if I didn't have rules or I didn't raise my voice. They would just completely take over the whole house and that would just not be good at all. So another one that you never get angry, I do. Um, I do get angry at them. There's obviously four of them and there's one of me, so. Hello, cheeky boy. <laughs> Straight for the camera. Straight for the camera. I do get angry at times, don't I? But I still love you. But I get angry because I want you to listen. Not you so much because you're a baby. <laughs> and you don't get it, do you? Would you consider having another baby? <laughs> Absolutely, 100%. Yes, I would consider having another baby. And I think having a conversation with Dan, he would consider as well. We probably won't just yet we'd leave the gap obviously a little bit bigger this time but I mean we're both still really quite young and I feel like we definitely could have one more possibly two if I sweet talk down a little bit but yes we would consider having another baby <laughs> and that brings me on to the next one is you would like a little princess so I would like a healthy happy baby whether that be a boy or a girl really doesn't matter to me at all in fact if anything I would side with more to having a boy because that is all I know like the last five years of my life all I've ever known is little boys so to throw a little girl into the mix would just be totally out of my comfort zone it would be like being a first-time mum all over again I think um, because I've heard having girls and boys are totally different and for a selfish matter I love being the only girl I get so spoiled with all their affection and their love and I love it so no that assumption is wrong I wouldn't like a princess I would like to have another baby and I would like the baby to be happy and healthy this is sweet I don't think you realize how gorgeous you are you need some confidence thank you so much I do <laughs> What are you doing? I do need more confidence and that is the one thing that I do wish I had more of. I wish I was more of a confident person and more comfortable in my own skin. I am getting there. It's just a very, very, very slow process. But I, I do need to have more confidence in every aspect of my life, I think. Not just the way I look, but I just think in everything i just need to be more confident especially when it comes to socializing next one you're quite shy but the boys are your comfort zone 100 percent true i am shy and 
I do feel so comfortable and at home when I'm around my boys. They are my comfort zone and anything outside of that is uncomfortable for me. I do get a little bit of social anxiety. I just generally worry about being away from my boys. So when I'm with them, I am the most comfortable I've ever been. So they've just consumed my life for the last five years and I feel like anything outside of that is so odd now because all I'm used to day in, day out, night in, night out as well, is the boys. So the next one is you are a kind and gentle parent and can find it hard to say no at times. Yes, I do find it hard to say no. I have to try and be strong because I know that if I give in to silly little things, then they know that I'm gonna give in to the bigger things as well. So I do try and stick to my guns and be strong. You underappreciate yourself and need a massive confidence boost. You're amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Similar to what I said earlier, but yes, I do underappreciate myself and I do need a huge confidence boost. That so you're an expert on having boys and have all the tips and mum hacks. I wouldn't say I'm an expert but it's what I've known for the last five years and obviously boys is all I know so I do feel like I have a lot of advice a lot of tips and hacks I just don't put it out there I probably should but I don't I know there's a lot of people on YouTube that do all tips and hacks and stuff which is amazing but I don't know again maybe it's just a confidence thing but I do I do have a lot of advice I do have a lot of experience that your boys are the happiest little guys ever. They are, they are so happy, but I feel like it's because they have each other as well. And I think because Dan and I are happy, we're happy together, it kind of shines through to the boys as well. We are generally a happy household, but there are times, honestly, where it's so stressful and we do get a little bit sort of under pressure and a little bit stressed if the boys are really hectic and there's a lot going on. But yeah, they are, they are really happy little boys and I guess that is down to me and Dan being quite happy and chilled. So the next assumption is that your family is very close. We do have a very close-knit family and I love that. I love that we're all so close, me and the boys and Dan, but even outside of that, you know, Dan's side of the family, my mum's side of the family and my dad's side of the family, I do feel like we are all very, very close, which is so nice to have that support network around you. And I think that's another reason why the boys are so happy is because there there is so much love around. That sounds really, really cheesy, doesn't it? But it's true. So the next one is that you're always putting the boys first. Yeah, of course I am because they're my boys. They're my little boys. They have to be first. You have to be first, don't you? Yes, you do. Your happiest place is at home with your boys. That couldn't be more true. <laughs> yeah, I love being at home. I'm such a home bird. I just like all my homely things and my comforts around me. So yeah, that is my boys, that's Dan, and that's my home. You have a crazy wild side when you have a child-free time. <laughs> have a crazy wild side I don't know maybe my friends would say different but like I said earlier for the people that have known me for years and years I feel like they have the best side of me and when I do rarely have a child free time I do like to sort of let my hair down a little bit and have a nice time and just laugh lots and just be fun and just remember who I was before I had children as well not that I've changed as a person but you know your priorities change and you do put yourself last so yeah I guess I do have a different side to me when I have a child free time is you are the soft parent and your husband's the strict one <laughs> P.S. I think you're an amazing mum. Thank you. Um, I get, it depends what moods we're in. I would say I'm actually the stricter one and Dan is the softer one, but only because I'm with them constantly and I feel like when Dan is home, he wants to spoil them in a way because he misses them in the week when he's working. So I do feel like I'm the stricter one and Dan is the softer one. Some of you might find that really surprising. Yeah, I mean, Dan's a big softie anyways. But I feel like I have to be stricter with them, otherwise they would just walk all over me. Uh, next one is loyal, caring, and tells it how it is. I do, I think, tell it how it is. I don't beat around the bush, I don't think, and I am quite an honest person. And I do feel like that's why a lot of you follow me is because of my honesty. But you're quite sensitive and anxious soul yes i am i am extremely sensitive and i am pretty anxious i never used to be until i had children it's kind of changed me a little bit i think the anxiety of it all and just the general worry that you have when you become a mum but yes i am yes i am extremely sensitive and i am 
a pretty anxious person. So that is it. That is all of your assumptions. Thank you so much if you replied on Instagram. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed getting to know me a little bit more. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Can you do a thumbs up, Renzo? And please subscribe while you're over here and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.